Hi everyone, I have missed you and I've been praying for you and I'm just so glad to spend some time with you today. And I wanted to um, share some time with you in God's Word. And one of the things I want to do though before we do that is I want to tell you something. I want you to learn how to turn and tell. So when I say turn and tell, I want you to tell someone, turn to someone near you in the room and tell them the answer to the question, okay? So the first thing I want to do is, I want to ask you a question, what is that? Can you turn and tell someone what that is? You're right, it's a crown. So who wears a crown? Can you turn and tell someone who wears a crown? That's right, a king or a queen wears a crown. And so when we think about a king or a queen, especially a king we're going to talk about today, when we, if we met a king, what would we do? How would we act if we met a king? Can you turn and tell for that too? How would you act if you met a king? So if you were invited to meet a king, what kind of gift would you give that king? Let's say you were invited to a palace and you were going to go there and meet a king. What would you give? What would you bring? What gift would you bring to that king? Can you turn and tell that? What would you give? Well, today we're going to spend some time in God's Word, the Bible, and this is my Bible. And we are going to spend some time in God's Word, and we are going to um, learn about the King of Kings and what he did. And we're going to celebrate what he did as he kind of revealed himself as a king in one way this coming Sunday. So we're going to pray first. So I want you to bow your heads, and I want you to close your eyes, and we're going to pray. Dear Lord, I want you, Lord, to please, please help us to, to learn what you want us to learn today. Please speak, Lord, to these boys and girls that are listening. And Lord, please teach them through your Holy Spirit's power and through your word, the Bible. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I'm going to be showing you some pictures, too, while we do this story. Well, Jesus knew that his time on earth was coming to an end. He'd done everything that God had planned for him to do. He had obeyed everything that his father wanted him to do. And he shared God's love with people all around the world as far as he could reach where he was. He served the way his father in heaven wanted him to serve. And he was always obeyed, obedient to his father. Well, Jesus started to travel toward Jerusalem. And when he traveled toward Jerusalem, there was a very special celebration that was going to happen that day. It was called Passover. And the people that, that loved Jesus, they were the Israelites, and they remembered, they were remembering on Passover how God had saved them from slavery in Egypt. So during the Passover, all these thousands of people came together. And I've got a little picture just to kind of get an idea of how the people would have come together. What Jesus did next, though, was very, very unusual. So Jesus asked his disciples to go into Jerusalem and to find a donkey and its colt. Do you know what a colt is? If you know what a colt is, or you think you might know, Turn and tell somebody near you. That's right, a colt is a donkey's baby. It's a baby donkey. So Jesus told his disciples to go and get a colt. And this colt was tied up. And Jesus said that um, the the colt was going to be tied up and, and his disciples would go and get it and bring it to him and the owner of the colt would say, that's fine, you go ahead and take that colt. So Jesus rode that colt 
into town. We're just going to pretend that Jesus is riding the colt. Well, as Jesus rode in, the people saw him and they celebrated and they gathered together and they waved palm branches with him at him too. And that's what they would do when a king rode into town. They would wave palm branches and they would celebrate and they would put their coats down on the ground in front of that, usually a horse that a king would ride. They would put their coats on the ground and that king would ride on and that would show that they were submitting or willing to obey that king. Well, as Jesus rode in, the people yelled, Hosanna, Hosanna, and Hosanna meant save us because they thought that Jesus, being their king, would save them from the people that were the rulers of that land. The rulers were Romans. And the Romans, this is a Roman soldier, and the Romans were very mean people to the Israelites. They ruled over them very heavy-handed. They were very mean to them. And so they thought that Jesus was going to save them from the Romans. Jesus was very, very special. But was he going to be the earthly king that was going to save them from the Romans? No. He, he wasn't, but he came to save them from something else. Jesus, is he mighty and strong? Can you do this? Jesus is mighty and strong. He is strong and very, very mighty. And he is the best kind of king. But when he came and he rode into Jerusalem and they thought that he was going to save them from their enemies, he was coming to show them that he is loving and kind and was going to continue to heal them and help them. But he was coming most of all as the promised Messiah, the one that was promised by the Father God to save them from their sins. You know, we all do things that are wrong. We all sin. And I know you do and I do and everyone does. Even your parents and your grandparents sin. So sin is when we do or we say or we think something that's wrong. And Jesus came to this earth to die on a cross. And when he died on that cross, he came to save us and take our place. He got our punishment that we should have had. He took our punishment and died in our place so that we could be forgiven. And he became our king that day didn't he? He became our king. And he is the king of kings. Can you stand up where you are, right in your living room or wherever you are, and I want you to yell, Jesus is king! Can you do that? Let me hear you. Jesus is king! That was great. Jesus is our king of kings. And he is our king yesterday and today and forever. The Bible tells us that Jesus is our king yesterday and today and forever. And I want you to bow your heads now and I want you to pray with me. Dear Jesus, you are our king of kings. Thank you for loving us. We praise you today as our king in Jesus' name. Amen. There's one thing that you could do if you want to for this coming Sunday. So I have a green piece of paper, but you could take white paper and color it green. But I want you to take that paper and I want you to fold it. And you may have learned in school like a hot dog, a long way. And you can take your scissors and you can cut it like this. If you need a grown-up to help you, go ahead and do that. Cut it like this. And then you could take some tape or you could um, do that and then you can cut on the sides and make a palm branch.
make leaves, a leaf part of the palm branch. I am so glad I got to spend this time with you today, and I'm looking forward to spending some time with you after Sunday again. Bye.